A common question we are often asked is what is the difference between accidental damage and how is it different from malicious damage and deliberate damage and or wear and tear? So in the marketplace, there are some landlords who have unrealistic expectations that their property will remain in exactly the same condition at the end of a lease um, as when their tenants moved in. And this is actually not a realistic expectation as wear and tear on a rental property will inevitably occur over time. So from an insurance perspective, it's important to know the differences and the definitions of all the types of damage and wear fair wear and tear. So accidental damage is actually an unexpected or sudden loss. This is generally something that is an accident and not planned so or intentional. Examples may include spills on carpet, damage to furniture, kids riding on walls. It was an accident but there is damage from the accident. Malicious damage. So this is damage which is motivated by spite or malice or vindictiveness with the intention of causing damage. And examples may include holes kicked in doors or walls um, or punched, graffiti, doors knocked in or doors knocked off their hinges and a police report is required for malicious damage claims. So deliberate damage, and which is an act that will alter the current state of an item. However, the act is carried out with without any spite or malice or vindictiveness. And examples of this may include putting picture hooks into walls without permission. And this is not an a vindictive act. It is, however, a deliberate act, um, but generally the intent of it is to make a property more homely. Wear and tear. So damage occurs when naturally and inevitably, simply because people reside in the property. Wear and tear occurs just as much in owner occupied homes as it does in a rental property. And an example of this or some examples include scuff marks on walls, the carpet in walkways appearing worn and small marks on lino as an example. So another area of contention can sometimes be poor housekeeping. So this is where a tenant maintains a property in a condition or a standard, which is actually lower than the landlord's expectations, but where no damage has occurred. This can include tenants who do not clean up after themselves, who don't ventilate their home or who don't regularly clean areas like um, bathrooms, kitchens, ovens uh, or carpets and wear and tear and poor housekeeping are not generally covered by insurance policies, even where the property may be brand new prior to being occupied by tenants. A property management company can monitor this though during routine inspections and outline to the tenants at the outset of the lease expectations of cleanliness and maintaining the property, for example. Agents will also ensure that the tenants are made aware that any damages or maintenance needs to be reported to the property management office immediately and that these are to be rectified in a timely manner. Landlords should expect fair wear and tear to their property as it would happen in their own home. One of the main reasons landlords confuse wear and tear though for accidental damage is because after leasing their property, they often don't see it again until the end of the rental agreement. And this is why it's important for your property manager to carry out regular inspections and to advise you of properties upkeep. More information or got any questions? Have a look at the comments below.